there is no reason for my not to achieve. So, wherever you are, the way I taught you to make the coils, double coil inside, you have continuous equal gravitational magnetic field, and if you put CO2 on it, and you put zinc on it, you have connected the emotion of the man to it on a stable condition, and you'll find out you become a very peaceful man. Here, instead of having galaxies and universes and creating connection magnetically, we have used the matter state, gravitational magnetic field strength to dominate and dictate the shape of the plasma. The nano technology, the nano material which you have collectively developed in different ways by caustic, by electric currents, by whatever, fire or whatever, has that advantage that the matter, the nano and the plasma is of all the same. So connection is very solid, it's very strong. The power of the plasma technology, the way we have thought, is beyond imagination of the mind. Now you can create and control the plasma, which is the mother of the creation of the universe. You are given the seed of the essence of the creation. The foundation does not belong to no one and is not made of one anymore. You are developing it. You are structuring it. And from today, we will be still the same. We'll still develop the technology in different names, in different colors, in different nationalities which they do not exist. It is beautiful when we see the Christian, the Muslims, the Jews and every other belief are working together to build up systems. We have already become one faith. We already have become one nation and we already have become one planet. You got to remember one thing. Dates is irrelevant. Today is the last day of the Christian calendar or tomorrow is the beginning of another. One day is connected to another. We don't stop. We are working around the clock. The Keshe Foundation team is working in respect to our time, position, religion, country. And now we achieve what we set out for. Okay, welcome everyone to the 110th Knowledge Seekers Workshop of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. Um, this week we're going to, we were going to be broadcasting from Dubai, but instead we'll be broadcasting from Barletta in Italy. Um, Mr. Keshe will be explaining that situation, I believe, and I think he's ready to go with today's show. Um, are you there, Mr. Cash? Yes. Uh, good day to you. Good morning, good evening, as usual, wherever, wherever, wherever you are. And as usual, I welcome you to another Knowledge Seekers. We promise we will not break the uh, teaching at all, does not matter whatever. And today is no exception. The teaching will go on, but this session will be only for one hour. The development of the technology is on its course, as we said, and the conference in the way is, as we said, ongoing. 
they have had a successful uh, what I call uh, launch and we'll see in due course the guiding for setting up of the what I call Universal Council has started they know what the procedure is and by hopefully tomorrow we should have the first members of the Universal Council uh, to be selected according to what has been laid out by the uh, foundation work. In so many ways, we go back to our teaching and what we have done and what we are doing. The progress and development of the technology on its own will carry on in a very, uh, what I call, aggressive way. Uh, excuse me, Fabio, can I have the whiteboard, please? Um, in the progress and the teaching of last week, we showed you and we thought a new concept, a new um, technology, what we call the plasma. Liquid plasma and what we call wafer plasma is the entry stage um, to the next one. As more and more people understand the technology, we add to it in a very uh, progressive way. As I said, we started in the teaching of last week with plasma as a plasma as a liquid. What we have seen in the development in the past uh, week and in the process of what we've done past over weeks is that once you start working with the field of the plasma, then the GANs of the plasma, the game changes drastically. The reason for it is very simple. Within the structure of the GANs, you still deal with matter state. But when you bring GANs, it's this energy plasmatic force. Now that is with the confinement of the water, which itself behaves as a GANs, which is a plasma of itself, in a system where you put the GANs, gas waters of different element, in fact, they themselves automatically change the characteristic of the water into a gas state or the plasma of the water. Now in the state, the water which has received the gas, it has nothing but itself and a copy of itself within the structure of the water. This creates a unique condition. This creates a condition, as we said in all the teachings, that with the matter state, we bring the structure into order as a plasma. So we use the matter state to separate the matter into what we called nanomaterial, and then we separated it into the gas of itself, and now that the fields have interacted, the whole structure behaves as a field. Now your biggest problem, which you have to overcome, to be able to get a homogeneous field is through the containment. What you use as a containment becomes the filter for the operation. What it means, if you use, for example, copper, now you have dictated the matter copper as a limitation. If you use, let's say, crystals, if you use crystal, now the crystal becomes the limitation. And this is important. We are forging ahead with this teaching. You have to understand. I explained to you two things, as we announced before, as actually announced in the teaching in the conference this morning. We have achieved sound plasma barrier, which means we have managed to block the sound. It's been recorded. So the system, as we said, to be a sound filter has already confirmed is done. We have managed to another test to confirm the boundary of a plasma. We can see the boundary of the plasma, where it is, and which direction the plasma is looking inward. They've all been recorded. 
So now we are going into the step that not only we have seen the boundary, we can see the boundary of the plasma, we can see the reduction in the plasma to a sound level unless you break it, which means you run at the high speed, whatever you do, you can run a motor. Don't forget, we announced this over years ago. We announced this in the structure in the capture of American uh, liner. Now, we showed you the process last week and the week before, and within less than a few hours, one of the Keshe Foundation top scientists has managed to replicate, and we have achieved the sound barrier using the technology. So, we are going into the direction of total creation of the fields which we can both find a barrier and both we can find is a strength. So the next step is left is to create increasing gravitational field forces that allows a total interaction between the gravitational and the magnetical that allows the creation of whatever you like. If you like intensive light, you will see intensive light. If you want to see lift, you will see lift. At this stage, without a vacuum condition, this is the closest we can bring you to the point of physically being able to touch a plasma. You can, very simple tools. The tools used by the Cash Foundation scientists is very, very simple, extremely simple. We can see the boundary. When you carry, you see the image of the field to bend backwards towards here. When you move it that way, you see the curvature this way. If you move it up, we see the curvature this way or that way. So now, as I said, two main principle is achieved. Now is to strengthen the field that we can go into the full, what we call light in the sky. Or what it is, without actually any material, you can create light by interaction of the plasma within the structure of the water, within interaction of the different fields with each other. We show this sound barrier blockage over nearly a year and a half ago, two years ago, the two the Americans who came to the Sansana. Now, within a matter of few days, has been replicated. How is it achieved? What is the job you have to do to achieve this? Any of you, you can start doing this. First of all, I noticed something you did not realize last week. I showed you the system, which is like this. I showed you, if you go on the news, you will see the shape of the Russian aircraft, which were unarmed, deliberately not carrying any weapon, empty, but in fact carrying the same structure as what we showed you. So the, the structure of creating high definition plasma in this field force has to have such a shape if you want to concentrate it. Second thing, which you just go back on the teaching of last week, in a couple of points, I randomly put this, and one of the military guys noticed this, says, you're putting it out, people don't notice, but if military people saw it, you saw it too. So this is how the structure is set. If you look, if you go back on the Russian crafts or anything else, this configuration is kept because this gives concentration, and this gives the totality. You've got to remember one point. Plasma technology is the way the universe works. You can dictate its position and condition as you will. What you got to do, what's the next step for all of you? We bring you very rapidly to this technology. It has to come because you don't fall behind the governments. Governments are working very fast because they're monitoring all the communications of the Cash Foundation. So if they know, you should know too. So what is the job to do? You have the ball. 
you have ganses of different elements. You have ganses of copper, you have the ganses of whatever, and you made enough of everything. You collect the waters from each, never touch the guns. You put your container and you mix a whole lot of the waters in the container. So now you have a mixture homogeneous. This, what I call the principal plasma mixture has to be kept that you can start testing different things. Those of you who built the original cores, the rotating cores, go back to them. Go back to them and fill them up instead of the vacuum with the water of cans. If you made a huge two liter one, no problem. If you made a ping pong ball, no problem. Take enough water from this composition into here that you fill up totally. And now, start rotating your reactors at different speeds. Do one thing, put a radio and put all these gases around your reactor. Start observing any changes. Put a radio near and see if the sound disappears. We did that in the Sansano. The ones who were in the Sasana with us, they saw it. It can range up to thousands of meters. There is no limitation, depends on the strength of the field you create. So this is jamming system, which costs a few cents. All of you have done it, and now you can see the use of it. This is important. If you live near a power station, if you live near a high tension cable, no problem. Make one of these and leave it in the garden. It gives you the field. We've done that in the Sansano. When they were using all sorts of things, which we knew from Belgium, used to literally cook your brain, you put this. A lot of you have been asking us, can you show us a defense? We need to be saved from these microwaves. You save yourself. Build one of these and put it in your system, in your house. It's very, very a small, tiny thing. Get a ping pong ball, stick it on top of a rotor of a cooling system of a computer, you've done it. You don't need to spend millions and spend thousands and try to find out. You made your uh, ganses, now buy yourself a ping pong ball. Make a little one on the top that you can inject the liquid into it. Glue it, centralize it perfectly in the center of a, uh, what you call a cooling uh, motor of a computer. It's about three, four euro, you can buy it. And run it at the highest speed you can. You create a field. Natural, homogeneous, does not affect the body, does not interfere with the body of the man, but it creates what is not needed by the body of the man. Noise, radiation, or everything else. This is part of the OASIS system. If you run it fast enough, if you manage to get the right composition within the core, you can create yourself. What you see in the OASIS system, we show as a tent. The interaction of the field is so natural and normal that with the earth gravitational magnetic field, it creates a magnetic tent, soft to the body of the man, but not good or being in interaction, let's say, with the rain or the wind. These are matter state. Your body, when you carry the, the gas inside it, creating a tent is of the your same. Don't forget, you had the CO2. You had the copper oxide, you had the CH3, and you had whatever was in there which is equal to your body. And you see, you create a tent. Your skin is made of the same, but it resists the matter state of the water. It stays the matter state of the wind. Now, for the first time, as I said, you see the shelter. The shelter application 
are the plasma technology. So all you need, more or less, if you can get it right and put it into practice the right way, you have seen the shelter composition of the Keshe Foundation OIS system. Costs very few dollars. You have a system which you want to test it, understand your composition first. What you put is very easy, very, very easy. Millions of you have made the GANS, millions of you have the GANS sitting there. The water on top of it is all ready for use. It says, take me please, I want to show my power. Take the water, take the GANS, ping pong ball, maybe a 50 cents. Make a hole in it that you can close it. And if you can, soak the ping pong ball in the same water that you nano coat it from outside that it transfers the energy. We see a problem with these kind of balls, and that is the CH bond blocks part of the operation. What we suggest, if you can get hold of a glass ball, a glass ball will give you a huge advantage. Those of you who have access to crystals, this makes you perfect, instant, instant result. So, as I said, we don't stop anymore. There is no hiding and docking. Technology transfer is very rapid. It's you to test. By next Thursday, tell us what you've done. To me, to teach this today here is more important than discussing what is get done in the way in respect to the application and implication of what is going to be the World Conference or Universal Council. The reason we are not there, because we don't need to be. If I go, if I had to go, and I was there, then they expect me to head this way. Money is on its own in the council. They have to decide their own decision. And then they meet, as we said, in second or the third week of September for the decisions in how they decide to govern the decisions for this, the way what they've been elected for. So. Now you understand why we are going ahead so fast. Any of you <clears throat> who's been having a problem with radio transmission, you've had a problem with uh, what you call the masks of the, the, what you call mobile phones, you had a problem with the high tension cables, try the system, but you have to get it right. If you see a light coming out at any boundary, it shows the boundary of the interaction with your system. It's very important. You have to understand what you are doing. So, another part of the process. The reason we are releasing this so rapidly is typically for what we announced, number of large number of earthquakes which are happening over six point and seven point and God knows what around the world and a number of volcanic eruptions will call for this application very immediately because this is the only way shelter you're gonna have. It's the only way you're gonna save yourself from homelessness, from having no shelter. You make a universal shelter for your own with a very, very little cost. There is no reason that no man should be without any cover in a time of accident. It doesn't cost the organizations around the world to produce this in mass, to give to the house, to any man. You don't need to give a tent. Tent was a matter state. We have entered the plasma technology, and the plasma technology is so effective. If you get it right, the right way rapidly, you have a shelter for the man. So the reason? We see the release of this important is because of what is on the horizon. I gave you, if you go back on the teachings, we expect the maximum around the 18th to 21st of April in high levels of earthquake activities. And we've proven to be right. We have seen the whole of the American continent shaking. Two states are shaking so bad that the federal government has switched off all the seismic meters. So what I said to you, when the southern continent of the United States breaks up, 
the whole of the shake to New York will be felt and be proven to be correct. Read what is on the internet and read all the graphs which is coming out of the American government official sites. The whole of the continent of the United States is on a shake beyond ever seen. Because what has happened, the northern continent, which is a stock to the other Panje, in this separating the southern America is putting pressure. It's like when you're snapping a wood. The wood is a snapping. We've seen the proof of it is a rapid earthquake in the equator. We have seen, as we said, earthquakes along the line of Tibet. Iran will come. We've seen Greece has gone. And we have seen even earthquake in North Africa, which is at the point of the pressure, which is pushing in. The Japanese earthquake last week, 10 days ago, is seismically has moved by one meter, which is shaking all the islands pressurized on the same line. This is going to snap very soon. There is no choice. This will go. And because it's a snapping at the high pressure, the whole of the United States is shaking underneath on the magma, which is connected to Southern America. And the separation is imminent, and it has already started. One meter shift in southern Japan by the earthquake has been the reason that it shows the platform has released itself. You do not move if you don't have a room to move into. So in Japan, one meter shift has shown the whole planet is on the move. And the whole of the Panje will feel it. We've seen all the islands across the line are reporting earthquakes. Galapagos Islands reporting massive earthquakes, hardly sometimes. We've seen Hawaii is reporting massive earthquakes. Equator, the same. We see the same in southern Japan. It is inevitable. If this snap goes any further, and we are waiting for one release from the Asian continent, then this shaking of the what I call the United States, continent of Northern America, which has gone through this shake, will go back to its normality once its partner or Southern American and what they call it, continent separates. And that shifting back to recover more or less from the one meter creates a huge backlash. Tsunamis of two, 300 meters will not be uncommon. And we will see this return of the Northern American continent will push to 10 plus earthquakes. It's a backlash in the way of literally is nothing but snapping. So for that reason, if this does not complete, as we said, but in the coming time, we've seen, as we said, even to the dates we are correct, that it will happen between the latest by 18, 21st of this month. I said that around January is recorded. Now, if we go through a calm time, if the movement does not stay because of the pressure from northern continent by the northern hemisphere, then October, November separation will be completed. We expect a huge, a huge number of increase in seismological activities, and especially, especially, as I said, when I said it, the shakes will be felt in New York and Washington. And all the data coming from the American government confirms that the whole state, 50 states of the United States, or 49 of them, are in the shaking. And the worst thing is, Alaska is, re is reporting a number of, huge number of activities, earthquakes in past week. So the reason is that the northern part of the continent, which is attached to Asia and is attached on the other side to the other end of the Asian continent, is moving to allow to absorb most of this retention of the power, which is created by the earthquake. So if we see such a thing and we're being correct, it is important for us to release this knowledge. There'll be no one to shelter you except yourself. It does not matter if the earthquake happens or not, if you become a homeless or not, if you're going for camping in the desert and you have nowhere to do, or you go in the jungle, you want a shelter. These little balls with 
the gans of the right composition becomes the tent of the future for mankind. You will understand this can be used the same in a space where you want to create an atmosphere for you to live within the condition of the amino acid of the man. So for the first time, we are heading in the right direction to release more and more information in a much simpler way that people can do. One of our listeners, he followed the Keshe Foundation years ago, and then his wife has come up with a cancer. He said, I remembered, I knew if I come to Cash Foundation, doctors have left him. She is not touched since Christmas. Chemotherapy has been abandoned. Radiation used only with a cancer in the spine. And when I saw the email, I spoke with the guy. I called the guy. I said to him, very simple, exactly what I taught and I said in the last teaching. What happened if you are the last man standing? Which means what happens if you are the last person in space and you come up with a cancer? It's no different. How do you do it? So what I've done with him, very simple. He knows the Cash Foundation website. I said, I'm not doing anything. I advise you what you want to do. You approached us. And in his email, he says, I know it can cost 50,000 euros if you can help us. I said, it's free. I guide you. And if you succeed, you decide if you want to donate to the foundation. Now, since last week, he's ordered a plate. He's gone back on the website. He's started learning how to make guns and how to make nanomaterial. And I've showed him how, through the GANS possibility, that we can bring the liver cancer into tape. So now we'll see the same process. If you are the last man standing, you should know how to survive. If you are one of the few survivors in these earthquakes or eruptions, volcanic eruptions or whatever, find yourself a piece of copper, make a GANS, and find yourself, it's very easy how to create a rotation. Go back as far as where you used to create fire. This time you create a plasma using the same principle. So now we need to, there's a necessity for this to go out and to teach. Please, very simple. Find yourself a ball, even a glass ball. Find yourself a small computer cooling system motor. The ganses you have, don't take any of the ganses. The minute you bring the gans, you have a problem. But be careful at the same time that your system will fly too as well. So you might see the first left yourself with a few cents. We throw so much knowledge in the pool of the knowledge of the man that we force one condition. You all can move anywhere in the world with a full protection. You don't need to book in a God knows few hundred dollar hotel a night. You take your own camping and your own core. That's how simple it's going to be. I see two smiling faces. The reason is very simple. As I said, even in other talks, will enforce the use of the technology by its beauty. And now we're coming to that point. If you make the right combination gas, in your containers, in your balls, please make sure one thing. Keep an eye when you get raindrops, when you get other things, because these are your food. The interaction of the fields is not that they don't do anything. At the end, they have to create something, because it's interaction. You cannot do anything else. Learn very rapidly how to change the course. Learn very rapidly, there is a high possibility. We have been correct up to now in every step about the earthquake around the world, and we've seen it. It's exactly the operation which I explained. We'll go, go back on the recordings. I explained to you, it'll go through the Chinese 
Pakistan, India, Iran, and it goes down. We have seen Pakistan been hit. Nepal got hit. Japan is released. The pressure comes. On the other hand, we've seen again activities in Gibraltar and North Africa, and we've seen a few activities from Japanese side to the southern continent and the shaking of the whole of Northern American continent. We release these seismic data on the internet within the next few days. This is from the American government. Every 50, 49 states are shaking beyond imagination since the earthquake in Southern America. So be careful, understand, is not creating mayhem or panic. We are precisely on, and the pattern is exactly as we said, and the results are as I said. Estimated earthquake on the west coast of the United States at 10 plus is imminent. Absolutely imminent. It's just matter it happened before summer or after summer. If the pressure releases, it will go after. But the number of volcanic eruptions shows the lift and the shift of the continents from one side to another. Understand how you make the plasma and prepare it for the ultimate disaster. This is the course. It would have happened if we were not here or there. If there was no inhabitants on this planet, the same thing would have happened at this time for the planet. This is a natural process of the movement of the continents. And so we happen to be at the right time. We happen to be at the time where we can deliver the technology. It costs you a very few dollars, very few dollars to start building your own tent that in the case of accident, you're not homeless, you're not shelterless. And if you can do it properly, the cores, if you blow them the right way, they become your feeding station too. You will not be hungry. We've seen it with Jackie and the others. They will feed you. Because don't forget, at the moment, people who are testing it, they're outside. But when you're inside the tent, you absorb direct. Our warning goes to the American government. Please be prepared for a major disaster. This is the earthquake forecast we've done. I was told, can I make comments on it for the past few weeks? I kept away from making any comments. Now we are very open about it because it cannot be ignored. As we said, our biggest problem sits at this moment of time. European continent and African continent are so heavy, they can absorb most of the shake. American continent, Northern America is very loose. The other problem you have is that the Southern American continent, we do not know how it's going to behave. If it's going to go back, and then start oscillation to come to an end, like the way America at the moment is oscillating this way. If this separation creates an oscillation, the two interactions can create mayhem in what we call Mexican Gulf. And that will be an absolute mayhem. Any oil platform will not stand such a shake. The Mexican coast will become unlivable. We are heading for a major, major separation of continents, and it has consequences. And we have not been out, not even by date, in our deliberation. Go back on the teaching, because everything is recorded. We put a date on it. We'll see, if anything, by 18th to 21st of April. And we see now this time, huge activities in the past week shows the movement is correct. So we have to understand the position. And for this measure, I brought the teaching of the plasma, what we call liquid plasma teaching, last week forward. And now we show you how to apply it. You can use these even in the time of injuries, heavy injuries. You can create a condition with these systems that can reverse the process of the fracture or internal bleeding. This we teach you when you understand in the next couple of weeks, because I have to go into it in very detail. I have to go back 
in next few minutes to attend the uh, Cash Foundation meeting in Dubai and answering, answering questions and answers. So this teaching this week is only for one hour, but the information given is beyond one hour. It's beyond the dream of a man. You have to understand, we have given you every tool to be able to create the shelter you need. It's you who have to take the next step. I ask all the Cash Foundation supporters, please, if you are scientifically, even your housewife understood, start the process. All of you have made many ganses. The only thing you have to watch, understand what you are mixing. Keep a data, how much of each one you have to put into your reserve tank. That if you change a mixture, you record it. What mixture gave you what? What effect? <clears throat> Next week, we will show the situation of the silence. Next week, we show you the same condition with the how to see the borders and the barriers of your plasma. All of you have the technology to do so. Very simple. But please do not use any GANs. Do not consume any GANs. It's too powerful and its energy lasts a long time where the gas of water is, has the connection with the water of the body of the gas of the man. So any energy is always used in balance. It's a huge difference in consuming the gas or consuming the water of the gas. Huge difference. So in so many ways, be prepared that now that you have gone a step further, you can create these plasma systems within a matter of hours. You have learned how to make the plasma batteries. The plasma batteries, which you've seen according to Alex in Africa, work on average of 14 days. So it means at least if you spend 10 cents, five cents, and you learn how to make the plasma batteries and capacitors, and you learn how to make the coils or the beads, which is the same structure as the coil in a different way, you have power supply for 14 days enough. But if you can run and move away from this matter state and make yourself a motor with a gas, you might run for at least four months. Because the energy from the plasma can be absorbed by your uh, plasma capacitor and be reused. So in a way you energize yourself. There are different ways to create lift and motion. Those of you who would like to achieve lift and motion, it's very easy. Go back to the beginning of the teachings which we started. The more you gain, the more you have to give. So what does it mean? I always tell you, the more you give, the more you have that you can receive. Apply it in this case. What does it mean? It means you have to create a condition to gain more that you can give more. So what does it mean scientifically for you is when you make your core and you put it on, you need a taker. You need a plasmatic field force to take as much as possible. That in taking, in rapid, it creates a turbulence for the field that allows more to give out. For this, what I suggest to you, when you're making your pot, start not by adding CH3, not by adding CO2 or whatever. You need to apply a scientific reason for it. You need an element which can attract gravitational magnetic fields heavily. That element in the hand of the man is gans of lead. Or in the body of the man is a gans of phosphor, sulfur, sorry. 
you need software. So in that position, if you have a lead, all of us have a lead, when you make a gas of lead, you by measure by measure in adding to the Gans water tank lead by one or two drops, no more. Keep the track of what you're doing. You'll find out by taking the water out by whatever, and you add one or two drops of lead or sulfur, you will find out the center of gravitational pull increase. And in that process, you will receive so much that you cannot give out so much. The interference will create you your barriers. If you use a crystal glass, you will see light inside the glass because the interaction will come internally. If you use the copper coils or plastic coils, now the matter state has become a filter for given strength. So you have a different condition. So any of you who had or started and understood the core business when we did in the Sansano and afterwards, now you understand where it becomes applicable. Higher speed, the better. You will find creation of lift and motion, that's the object. But the main object at this moment for release of this knowledge is the imminent disaster we are looking at in the United States, most probably in north part of the, and the west part of the Southern American continent, Hawaii will be hit beyond, Australia will feel it beyond the shakes. We see Japan under the water. Major cities of Japan will sink very easily. All the coastlines in Japan, we see Philippines and Thailand on the huge danger area zone. We are talking a huge, massive movement. On the west coast of Africa, we see a drainage back which can push back possible losses on the west coast of Africa. Safest place at this moment is east coast of Africa, Persian Gulf, the west side, the west side of the Indian continent. And we see huge danger for the waters of Saudi Arabia. I explained this, Saudi Arabia is in a very peculiar position, Amman, the state of Amman, will be the inner part into and up to Suez Canal, will see huge damages because of the pressure of the waters into the canals in between the two continents. Be prepared. We are sitting on the change of a course for a planet, and we happen to be there. As I said before, Australia was part of the Pange. It snapped off, and that's where it is today. Now, the continent of America, Southern America, is going through the same process. If you need help at any time during the disaster, reach the Cash Foundation support system. We'll try to make it accessible. We try to make it reachable by other Cash Foundations to reach you or we support you. We've done this before in another disaster condition, as some of you know. We are there to support the Cash Foundation team across the world. We are all become one nation, one race, one family. We are there to support. The support of the Cash Foundation runs in tens of millions. And as part of the ethos of our work, we are there to be as one family to support. We launch the one race, one planet, one nation. So we behave as one. We share knowledge rapidly and we stand by to support. This is one of the problems. As I said, I warn the Iranian government of the possible earthquake hitting Damaland and the same disaster is respected right across Turkey. We saw the vibration in Greece, and it's very possible, highly possible. We see huge number of activities between the, or in the line of the Asian continent right across. Our warning goes to the Russian government on the southern borders of the Silk Road. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan are not 
going to be safe with these earthquakes either. The development of the plasma technology, liquid plasma, is a safeguard, is a net to catch in a case. But whatever we said has happened. Now, the problem is how much the continent of Northern America can hold on before the snap. The longer it holds on, the worse will come. The sooner the two continents separate completely, the worse be. If it separates within the next two to three months, 10 to 12 is imminent. If it goes into autumn and the next year, 20 is imminent because the more pressure absorbs, once it's released, it has to release it, and that kickback is going to be tremendous. There will be no state of the United States which is going to walk free of earthquake. It does not matter wherever you are. I warned the American government that they will fill shakes and earthquake all the way to north. I told you the northeast of Canada is one of the safe places. Northeast of Canada is the safest places to be. And now we see Alaska has a start. Just go on the earthquake report, Alaska is shaking. This part is shaking. This part is vibrating, trying to absorb the pressure, but the stop has come because Japanese coast has cleared one meter. One meter shift, it means this can move. There's a possibility of high, very high earthquake activity back in Japan, east of China Sea, the same. The situation is very volatile. How is going to happen? Unknown, but we know the cause. Now we have to take the course. As I said, there was a reason I released the plasma technology as a liquid plasma, because this way everyone can help. You made the cores, you made the pens, you made the cores and the coils that can help you. And we've seen doctors and scientists around the world have started testing it. You have all the facilities to help yourself as you were the last man standing. You can feed your family, you can create a shelter, and this was the, one of the last pieces of the jigsaw of what we call Oasis system. You will feel the rain dropping, but will never touch you. You will feel the snow and the wind, but never crosses the wall of the barrier. Start testing that you're ready, that when it happens, all you need to do is to run a very, very tiny motor. Keep it as a kit in the house. You can build a tent next to your house till you can build your house if you want to be in that house again. You don't need to be displaced. You don't need to become refugees. You can establish the society back where it was, but till the next time when there is another earthquake in a few thousand years. So, our voice should be heard, we be correct, and we emphasize, please, my voice goes directly to the President of the United States, to start making emergency evacuation system and delivery of these tests with a black budget with the American government to be tested and make it available to every citizen if it's not already too late. We're coming to one o'clock in Europe. We said today's teaching will be for one hour because it's the lunchtime in the way and the participants are having the rest before the afternoon session when there is a question and answers. <clears throat> As we said, we'll be here again next Thursday. Tuesdays for the next two weeks, we have no teaching because is what we call vacation time for our students. You are looking at the. It's that bad. Italy is not that bad. We are a little bit safe. We're still going to get it, but in the, in the Napoli, Napoli is going to get hit bad. But we are safe. In this part, we are at the end of the shoe. It gets kicked back. We're okay. It's only get kicked the ball, which is the Sicily, so that's no problem. 
<laughs> so you have to see the stage which we are working on. Please, <clears throat> I know a large number of you listen to this, uh, this what we call teachings. Try to go as fast as you can. Put everything you see on, on the Keshe Foundation website. Put the testimonials that others who come can save their lives. They can see it, they can proceed with it, they can find it. As of today, we start processing, and now that the whole Cash Foundation team is in the way, to split the whole of the Cash Foundation in a way that we can operate to be flexible, to be at any point to help. As I said, as one nation, one planet, one race, it's the responsibility of all of us, now that we see the disaster, to answer. I hope, I hope, with my deepest wish, I'm wrong, but I know otherwise. Thank you very much for today. We have to break off. It's one of the shortest sessions we've done, but we still keep with the same tradition. But we are teaching on the other side in the conference, we're getting reports. And in a way, we're setting everything up ready for that time. When the man matures enough to spend the finances in peaceful applications than killing application. As we were said, how can you spend on the war machine to create peace? And this is the language of misguided people of today. We need to spend arms and killing in Middle East to guarantee peace. On which language has this come? I cannot understand. Maybe it's time for us to see the truth. What is hidden? I need to sell armed to kill to be able to have the pleasures of the life of God knows whatever. So you don't need to kill to create peace, but the peace comes when you spend on it, dedicate your life to it, and serve it to be there. Thank you very much for today. And hopefully we we'll see you next Thursday. As we said, back in Baleta, this week we are split between two. And the next week, we'll see how far we can go with educating you and you educating us in what you have learned. Understand something very simple. If a man can help himself, as I said the last man, standing to walk his wife, what he loves more and his children away from cancer, through a simple process, which all of you have been taught, why not spend the energy of a man on saving and creating wars? As I said, we will enter a lot of hot waters, but as a group, as a team, as a member of the society running into millions, we are strong enough to carry it through. And as I said, if it wasn't because of the safety alerts, which the governments are concerned about our safety, I would have been in Dubai too. But apparently people who are clandestine activities has created the condition that the governments prefer to keep us safe than putting us in danger. So we are in Dubai as a cash foundation, and we are in Balletta as teaching headquarters, and we stay that way. Thank you very much for your time, and see you next Thursday. Thank you, Mr. Kesh, once again, for uh, uh, coming through with the regularity of the Knowledge Seekers workshops. Not one missed in 110 in a row here now. So thank you very Let's much for that. Let's see if you and me can live that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be fine. I think by that time it'll be 5,000 and something. Hmm, yes. Or two and a half thousand and something. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Rick. Thank you, too. We switch over to Dubai Conference, yeah? To the du Dubai Conference? We're going to... Yes. Uh... Once, once you switch this off, we go back to Dubai. Oh, okay, I see. Question answers, we finish this session. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.
Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, that's the end of the 110th Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, April 21st, 2016. And thank oh. you, thank you everybody for attending. And we'll we'll stop the live stream.